In this video, we're going to discuss scheduling a report in TapClicks. The report scheduler will automate the sending so that your stakeholders, including your clients, can be informed on a regular basis. Instead of having to manually pull reports, the automation means you can focus on optimizing your marketing campaigns instead of spending time to make sure everyone's regularly informed. Let's see how to use the report scheduler. Go to the reporting section in the navigation and click report scheduler. If anyone on your team has already scheduled reports, you'll see them here in the main window. To set up a new scheduled report, click the plus button at the top. Then you'll define three main things. Who is receiving the report? When will they get it? And what will be in the report? So who is getting the report? First, you'll select a client or a client group and add in the recipient's email addresses separated by commas. If you're sending the report to another TapClicks user, you can add them on the right instead of adding their email address. The Easy Login option gives a link for TapClicks users to go straight from the email to their dashboard, in addition to seeing the PDF or PowerPoint version of the report. They will see the same date range that you've defined. More on that in a moment. This is a great option for yourself and other users that will want to drill down or modify the date ranges. Next, you'll choose when the report is sent. Most of these are recurring events, but you can also choose to send only once on a certain day and set a day to stop sending the reports. You will find quite a few common preset date ranges in the time range section, such as a report based on the last seven days, last month, this quarter, last 12 months, and more. You can also set a custom date range and select to compare to the previous period if you're looking to uncover trends over time. The report format and content is the last area to configure for your scheduled report. First, you'll select the type of report. You can choose between a standard report, which is pulled from data sources or channels, a dashboard report based on any of your customized dashboards, or a report based on a report studio template that you've created. If you select a standard report, then you'll select a data profile and whether to show data sources, channels, or both data sources and channels in the report. When choosing your report type for scheduling, keep the recipients in mind. Standard reports can be helpful for showing all of the data at a high level in a report, but this report doesn't necessarily tell a rich visual story with the data in the way that a dashboard or report studio template can. Next, you will select the report format and name the report. Note that the Excel option will send the data and does not include visualizations that you set in the dashboard or report studio template. If you're going to send a report with visualizations, we'd recommend the other options over the Excel option. Lastly, if you ever need to temporarily pause a scheduled report, you can set the status to inactive and save the changes. That's all that's needed to schedule reports, and you can always come back to modify anything that's been scheduled in Report Scheduler.